Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Scalawag by Rectorox. Uh, I mean, Swashbuckle by Demon Arisen. Aloy, me hearties! Captain Cave here, just wanted to let you know that since all your young Scalawags are getting all miserable over not being able to do your usual testing, we've installed a swashbuckling test chamber right here on the ship. Aye, the ship ain't a looker anymore, but at least you can test. Oh, I also gotta mention, the ship's a bit top-heavy now, and by that I mean if one of you scurvy lots gets a bit too eager with the testing elements, the ship will capsize, and then the elements will be testing you. Captain Cave, we're done here. <laughs> Swashbuckle is an ocean-themed test chamber which will send you swooping and soaring across murky waters. After the intensely logical seven, I wanted to make a more exciting, adventurous test, and the pirate ocean theme fitted perfectly. I think- I think you just mean fit, not fitted. All the major test elements are blue, the lighting is shivery, and it's generally a good old swashbuckling time. Actually, I think fit and fitted are both- I think fitted is a word, but it's used in a different context? I don't know, I'd have to look that up. I'm actually curious now. <laughs> Update. Due to that annoying publishing error, I've had to create a new version of this map and make the old one private. R.I.P. Nice comments. Difficulty at medium. Music by Harry Culligan. Alright. Let's get started. We have a light bridge. That we have to stand at a precise spot in order to shoot at it. And then we have... A bridge over... Bridge over troubled water, that's right. <laughs> I'm trying to remember the expression. So how does one get back once one is over here? Oh, I guess this is a forward-only direction. What's up there? A button that... Oh! Oh no, that was a different fizzler. Okay. Cause that's where we came from. This button... ...drops water? I guess if we get a cube coated by mistake? Interesting. There's a button up there. Oh, and that's got grating on it. Huh. We need a light bridge out of here. Ooh, what do we have in here? This is all sorts of confusing. This is a dual purpose storage area and Great Glitch Defender. Yeah, mainly to avoid the Great Glitch, probably. Got that. Oh, it's too much of an angle, I can't stand on it. Alright. That's got grating. This doesn't have grating. Hello, I can uh... No, I can't stand on this one, actually. What is that? Is that an angle panel? Why would we want that? Oh, it must be a flip panel, maybe. Is that a flip panel? It blends in really well, if so. No, it has to be an angle panel. But why would we need an angle panel there, though? Alright, well, let's just go here for now. Oh, and that's not even enough, huh? Come on. Come on! Plonk the portal, please. Alright, so, this would probably just get us back over there, right? No, that's not enough either. Huh. Oh, I didn't even- didn't even see that up there. That reminds me of the live stream. Alright, so now we're up here. But this also requires star before we can find out what it is. Why are you, why is this portable? That's scary. That makes me think we're gonna want gel on the floor here so that we can jump into the funnel. That's totally what we need to do, too. That is totally what we need to do. Oh, I don't think I've heard the funnel version of this song before. Maybe I have and I've just forgotten, it's been a long time since I played Mill. There we 
we go. Hey, I, I, I hit E. Give me the cube, thank you. Alright, so we have a cube. And we can put said cube on said button, if we want to. If I can put said portal on said wall. Alright, so then... We just... Repeat the process, plonk the cube up here for convenience. Alright, so let's put this here for now. Because I don't really have any other place to put it. Actually, I wonder something real quick. Yeah, there's- there's not a reason to do this right now, unless we have the light bridge, maybe. There's also this, which will get us back through the fizzler if we wanted to. We could fling through the fizzler... ...or we could funnel through the fizzler. Huh. That- that last part of the song there always sounds like Skyward Sword's, uh, Lanayru Desert region. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's anti-funnel up, I guess. Still not sure how to get over there, cause this is all grading. Right? Yeah. We'll want to put the cube in there. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's- that's all we can see from here. So I was right when I said it was a storage area. That portal on the ground is aim-assisted, isn't it? That's why it keeps flipping me upside down, like a maniac. Alright, so. Cube and button-based testing. Give me this cube. Thank you. And then we head back up here. And we can use the funnel to get back. Because we don't need the cube to access the funnel. There we go. I want to fling across this way this time. Just to show that it can be done. Whee! Oh, that's... This is the bounce gel spot. That's what that's for. Alright, so. Head up here. And then we can grab this cube. There we go. Now we can put it here. And that would allow us to use the funnel here, most likely. Yeah, so that means we have to funnel across using that. Da 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 da! Get back up here. Again, it flips me because that's aim assisted. Alright, so, now, we should- oop, yeah, <laughs> Okay, well that's easy to fix. I got impatient there. Whoa, what the? Did I? What just happened there? Did I get pushed down? What? I'm not pushing down there. That's just- my hands are off the keyboard and mouse. What? Hang on a second, I totally got pushed down. Hands off the keyboard and mouse. What? What causes that to happen? That's so weird. I've never seen anything like that before. Huh. Well, anyway... <laughs> we can at least make progress in this direction now. How long does this button last? I hope it's permanent. And it's permanent. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate that very much. Alright, so now... Uh, at this point, we should probably just get out of here. Let's go ahead and get Bounce Jill all on here. We could get it on the walls, we could get up there without the funnel, but we don't need to anymore, because we're done. We don't need to get up there anymore. 
And, uh, you know what? So why not just get Bounce Shell everywhere we possibly can? I like how this has got gradients, so you know you get Bounce Shell here, the cube will just bounce around and won't escape. Without your permission. Whee! Haha, <laughs> you can get some on this little lip here. It's probably just gonna make it annoying to deal with the cube later, but whatever, I don't care. <laughs> yep, that's another way to get it on there. And we- we can do this, to- to make it so that we don't need to- to funnel ourselves around to get anywhere anymore. Wow, this is- that's so much fun, the way the gel spreads is crazy in this map. <laughs> we Let's see, where else can we get it? So much fun! <laughs> Excuse me. Alright. We can also get up here. Ah, yes, and we can do this. Exactly as I intended. Exactly as I guessed. I guesstimated, and I knew this would happen. And why not? We'll also do it here, because... Oh my gosh. Kill on the ceiling. That's, that's crazy. And on the walls, too, apparently. Wow, it goes almost straight across there. We'll do it on this side, too, if we give it enough time. Not really. Must be due to the placement. Oh, there it goes. Yep. <laughs> Craziness. Alright. I think we've got this place good and gelled up. Don't you agree? So... What do we want to do with this amount- this copious amount of gel? <laughs> we got gel on the backside of that. Wow. Now the trick is remembering where all the portal surfaces are. This is an interesting structure. Probably put to support these, maybe? I guess we just go back. Right? That's what I would do. Right onto the observation room. And we will portal... there. And here. There we go. Aha, and this- this is when we need to get the cube back. So let's save here. And this is why this area is all bounced like. Because we need to be able to get up here, recall the cube. Now I know what Demon Rhythm was talking about when they said about making it more fun. There we go. Now we can get the cube on here. And portal there. And we can go back. There! We did half the map just so that we could go back. Haha! <laughs> Because we need the cube. Oh no, that's the cube droppers up here, right. Okay. Haha, <laughs> I like how you block that spot off because of this lip here to prevent this from hitting our heads. How kind and considerate. Now the question is, do we need to swap the cubes? Hopefully not, right? Oh, So this is... Star... That- that ant line... What? So instead of... Let me get this straight, so... Demon Arisen, instead of just leaving the signage for Star next to the button here, they put an ant line up to here, next to Star, and I was like, is this a flip panel or an angle panel? Come on, Demon Arisen, why did it need to be extended like that? That's just confusing. 
Alright, so let's head back over here. So, what we'll want to do... Yeah, I think we do need to swap the cubes, actually, because we'll want to be able to, uh, funnel up here, press the button, and it'll turn this off. Although... How exactly do we get in there? Because that's all graded off. We have to get in through the light bridge. But then what? I guess we'll put the other cube on... Yeah, so that's what I think we'll have to do. So we'll put this here for now, but then we will swap them. Oh, I didn't get any gel up here. Ooh. Should I... I'll put this in a safe spot. I don't need any gel up here. Yeah, I'll just leave it alone for now. We got gel everywhere we need it to be, so... Oop, it, it. Where'd it go? Eh, ah, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Whoops. <laughs> that was the wrong key. Where did this cube go? There it is. And make sure my finger's on the right key. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Please forgive me, I just was impatient. Alright. There's that. Take this one. Make sure this one's nice and well on the button. There we go. one here for now. There we go. Alright, so now we just rinse and repeat, right? I feel like I'm gonna overshoot, but I never do. Alright, so then... Plonk a portal there. Plonk a portal here. Head up here. This is something that we can recall when we once we get over there. Save, and continue. Now the question is... How exactly do I want this to work? Because if I recall this cube, that should turn off, right? Yeah, it turns off. We can get in there. Then what? I am not clear on the concept right now. We need to funnel ourselves up. All right, we can do this now. Hey! That's done it. There we go. Ooh, but... Now we need to swap the cubes again! Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have- Ooh, eh, nope, 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 pretty sure we have to swap the cubes again. Let me stand on this... Valve? There we go. <laughs> yeah, we have to swap the cubes again. Yeah, you cannot walk onto this light bridge from this height. I had to step on that first. 
That could have been bad. I almost shot my black portal on that, but it's not portalable, so that's good. Alright, so. Then. Let me off your please, Val. Thank you. So if we do that. We put this guy on here. This is the one that we can recall, but it doesn't matter anymore. And this is. That one over there is that one. For those of you keeping track. Keeping score at home. Alright, so. Save, continue. Awesome. Oh wow, I shoved the cube through the light bridge somehow just then. Oh goodness. Miracle. So we can do this. Aha! Yes. And then, when the two worlds collide... <laughs> and, of course... Uh, uh... How do we do this now? Do I have to, like, tilt it off with a button or something? How is this gonna work? I'm not convinced this is intended. Like, do it on the very edge here and let the cube bounce off on its own when the light bridge does it? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure what the intended method is here. Well, I guess that works! <laughs> I'll take it. I will take it. There we go. That was fun, I appreciate that, Demon Arisen. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!